Hi, welcome to Infinity and Beyond, a video series where we'll be covering actual rocket science, brought to you by Astronomy Magazine. Each episode, we'll take a brief dive into a different cosmic topic, covering up from the basics to the latest research. My name is Abigail Bollenbach, and today I'll be talking about how pigeon poo once hid our universe's baby picture from view. Our universe began 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang, which created everything that exists today. And that dramatic event left behind some residual radiation. One 10 million trillion trillion trillionths of a second after the Big Bang, the temperature throughout the entire cosmos was a scorching 180 million trillion trillion degrees Fahrenheit. And even some 380,000 years later, the universe was still smoldering. We know this thanks to an omnipresent glow of ever-cooling radiation known as the cosmic microwave background. The CMB was first predicted in 1948 by American cosmologist Ralph Alpher. But this energy wasn't picked up by scientists until 1965, and at first its signature was mistaken for interference from pigeon droppings on the instrument. You see, two Bell Laboratory researchers, Arno Penzias, and Robert Wilson were attempting to measure radio signals from other galaxies outside of our own Milky Way. But two birds had made a nest in the researchers' 50-foot-long microwave antenna at the Bell Labs. Penzias and Wilson thought that the birds in their droppings might be the cause of a strange hum in their data that they couldn't explain, despite accounting for other sources of interference. But even after evicting the pigeons, the hum persisted. It never changed or went away, no matter where they pointed the antenna in the sky or here on Earth. That's because Penzias and Wilson had accidentally discovered the signal that is all around us, the CMB, which is imprinted on our universe by the Big Bang itself. In 1970, the two researchers won the Nobel Prize for their discovery. No recognition was ever given to the winged assistants, though. The CMB dates back to about 380,000 years after our universe was born, when it was just 1 1100th the size it is today. At that time, our cosmos was really hot, around 4,900 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, the CMB is invisible to humans because it has been stretched out to microwave wavelengths as space itself expands. It is now super cold, around negative 460 degrees Fahrenheit, which is just a few degrees above absolute zero. Although you can't see it with your eye, the CMB permeates the entire universe. But if we could view it ourselves, we would see an even bright glow filling the whole sky in every direction. How exactly did the CMB form? The early universe was actually too hot for neutral atoms to exist. Instead, matter existed as ionized plasma, which you can think of as a soup of positively charged atoms unable to hold onto their electrons. In this soup, light bounced everywhere, unable to get very far before slamming into something. This trapped any clues about what the universe looked like within a radiation fog. But over time, the universe's temperature and density dropped as it expanded. And about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, known as the Epoch of Recombination, the universe cooled enough that atoms could finally capture and hold on to their electrons. This let the photons that were previously stuck bouncing around within the fog finally escape. And the moment these photons broke free was captured as the CMB. This wall of light was the last time these photons directly scattered off of matter before they begun their journey outward through the universe. When scientists observe the CMB, they are basically mapping this surface of last scattering light. The first space-based full sky map of the CMB came from NASA's cosmic background explorer, COBE. But the best picture of the CMB was taken by the European Space Agency's Planck satellite in 2013. The CMB is instrumental because it provides scientists with many clues as to how the early universe formed. For instance, by and large, the CMB is almost perfectly uniform in temperature. 
only tiny fluctuations are visible, but these small variations can tell us a lot. The fluctuations reveal information about conditions in the early universe shortly after the Big Bang. They also tell cosmologists about the origin of galaxies and how they clump together in large-scale structures. Since the CMB's discovery over 50 years ago, we've learned much about the universe by studying this relic light. Many more mysteries about our cosmos remain hidden in this ancient light, but one thing is for sure, and that is we must continue marching onwards because the universe sure isn't going to slow down for us to catch up. Remember, there is no limit when you're watching Infinity and Beyond.